Okay, these are the words from today. Uh, we start off, and uh, I was uh, I chose uh, Shingon Man to speak, and he's like, uh, I think he felt like, Adam, don't pick on me, you know. Why are you always picking on me? Why are you always picking on me? Well, I found that again here in this uh, video with Bombardier and Boeing. This guy's pronunciation of Bombardier is a little bit diff different. In the grand scheme of things, Bombardier is no match. So why pick on the little guy? Yeah. So Boeing owns most of the market in the United States. They control most of the market. So why are they pick it on the little guy, right? Um, calling on me, it means choose somebody in the class. Are you calling on me? Uh, again, call someone out. <clears throat> you talk to your friend, and you tell your friend, um, hey, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Another call out for people is, uh, like I, I said, like in the Old West. Here's a decent example, right? Because they're going to have a gunfight. So the guy in the street says, I'm calling you out. Right. Um, we use that quite a bit. I used to use that quite a bit. Um, my philosophy, uh, actually we talked a little bit about the philosophy of language learning or how to learn a language in our, in our class. Um, is everybody here? Uh, we took a break today. We took lots of breaks, but uh, I said, let's come back at 10.05. But one guy was missing. So I said, are we all here? When everybody's there, we are all present and accounted for. Uh, again, give shout outs is say hello, right? Hey, let's give a shout out. Again, brag is kind of like, uh, I think more informal or more for your friends, right? Why are you always bragging about, um, you know, whatever, your car? You got a Mercedes. Boast, I would say, is a little bit more formal or you could use about like, um, you know, boasting about your kids or whatever. Or you'll see it often in these, uh, uh, company reports or something like whatever company boasts a huge profit or something like that right. um, teaching to the test you only teach the test material so people pass the test for example the TOEIC there's lots of TOEIC people lots of TOEIC teachers and they work hard Bei Dong Hee, Kim Dae Gyun, uh, Yoo Soo Yun I think but um, the people don't really speak so well because they gotta get that they have to have that personal practice and they have to be repeating things. So when they when they get a perfect TOEIC score, you know, they it's because the the teacher was teaching to the test. Go beyond the pale is to be worth like useless anymore, or worthless. Um, like you can't teach a person. That person's beyond the pale. Or a few bad things, okay. But when they do too many bad things, you can't help them anymore. They've gone beyond the pale. Right? They're beyond help, you can say that. I don't like to believe in this usually, but there are cases, but mostly I try to, I don't believe it. Uh, you know, there's no help in that guy at that point. Right? I say this because sometimes people, sometimes we have a, when we, when we try to learn a language, you have a belief that it's just, ah, I, I can't learn, it's just too much work, it's too much time. When it's, when, you know, we look for ways, we look for pinge or excuses to learn things, right? Um, we, we talked about ways to disagree. Uh, the best ways I beg to differ, I beg to differ is like in a, uh, maybe the instructor says something wrong and you want to be very polite. Or if you wanted to disagree with uh, Barack Obama or the president, even Trump, you'd say, well, sir, very respectfully, I beg to differ. In the debates, they say this quite a lot. I mean no disrespect. I don't mean any disrespect. Uh, I like to say this. I'm not playing the ego game here. I don't want to. I don't want to, do, you know, hurt somebody's pride or hurt, you know hurt other people. I like to say this one too. But again, that would be very informal. To f to be left out in the cold, to feel left out. Maybe when two people are speaking, or you know, having a, a, like practicing a language, the people that aren't speaking, uh, a person who's not speaking feels left out in the cold. I felt like this when I was in Spain. You know, sometimes like other people improve, but you feel like, I'm not doing very well. Um, pronounce and pronunciation. I asked Kang uh, um, Gu about this, and pronounce is the verb. Um, pronunciation is the noun. What is the pronunciation for that word? Or how do you pronounce that word? How do you pronounce that word? We do not say, um, how do you pronounce 
pronunciate does not exist. Or what is the pronunciation, right? What is the pronunciation for that word? I always say discuss or converse. There is no conversate. Now again, many foreign language students or many hicks, rednecks try to say that, but it doesn't exist. A scary movie is a horror movie. There's two syllables. Horror movie, right? <laughs> He's a, uh, the verb is kiss up. The person is a kiss up or a brown noser. All right. I hear flatter a lot, but I don't think, you know, this really, um, I don't hear this word too much back uh, in, the, in the United States. He's very charming, all right? She's very charming. Uh, or flattery is the best form of uh, charm or something like that. There's a, there's a saying, can't re quite remember right now. Now, um, Mr. Gong, yeah, one of the Mr. Gongs, <laughs> I asked him, uh, what's a kiss up? And he said, you, and that made me laugh. <laughs> but in that, I can say, touche. Good one, or a good one. Well played, well played, sir, right? <clears throat> Again, if we play, play basketball, play tennis, especially like fencing, you know, sword fighting. <coughs> In my case, well played. Good job. Senators, there's two for each state. That's higher level. Congressman is the general term. Ramble, rambles talk, ramble on and on. Also, uh, if you travel in the United States from Phoenix, you live there, and then you, and then you live in another city, in another city, kind of rambling from town to town. All right? Are you from here? No, he's from out of state. This is, we say this all, all the time. Again, states are the United States. Each state has its own independent government. Provinces are a part, like Canada, um, they are part of an entire country. Um, it's, they're a little bit weaker than states, individual states. Same with president versus prime minister. Maybe Koreans probably know this. Inadequate, if you can't prepare in an adequate amount of time, if you can't prepare in enough time, don't do it. Affect is usually the verb, like have influence on, right? Uh, have an effect, you could use this for noun. This one's more scientific. This one is more influential, right? in general. Boy, that was some weird behavior, bizarre behavior. This word on a scale of one to 10 is about a three or four for me. Right. I'm kind of dealing with an issue, right? Struggling would be hurting. Oh, really struggling, but nicer. I'm, I'm kind of dealing with an issue. Handling it is uh, stronger, like you're taking care of it. And I'm kind of, I've, I've, I've pretty much, I've handled that situation well, I think. Um, to show the proper respect versus to kiss up. So I asked uh, Mr. Gong again this today. And he said, uh, we're saying, like, showing proper respect, you're a little bit softer and nicer. Kiss up is t maybe too much energy or whatever. People don't like this. Now, again, my, my, my thinking has changed after living here. Um, or I try to, I think the style's a little bit different here. You really have to, I think, pay, pay good attention to your bosses. Show them the proper respect, I think. You know, open the door, bow, that type of thing. It works it works better here, I'd say. Okay.